Creatures and people united as one. Previously at Fairview High. Creatures and people united as one became the topic of a provocative class discussion, agitating the students, including Kirsten, who had a secret to tell Elian. Then, that same afternoon, Salmi contacted Ruff with concerns about a dangerous assignment from the teachers, Patos, that emerged to sabotage Ruff's progress with the assignment. Discouraged, Ruff was then confronted by Masia in regards to his relationship with her. The next evening, at Nick's house. This is it. Tonight just has to be the night that Nick will ask me to be his girlfriend. I mean, it's a pool party, so everyone knows people hook up at pool parties. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> You're totally right, Mary Jane. Plus, check out this bikini. It's so in right now. Oh, how's my hair? Do you think he'll like the present I got him? I know how much he likes athletic shoes, and I mean, I know his size, so <laughs> surely he'll- Mary Jane, just relax. Tonight's gonna be a great night. I can feel it. You have nothing to worry about. <sighs> okay, I know, I gotta chill out. <laughs> Come on, let's go find Nick. I mean, <laughs> I think he's outside by the jacuzzi. Hi, Nick. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> great party. Thanks, not bad for a mandatory assignment. Kirsten and Greg never showed up to decorate. I'm kind of glad about that, to be honest. Isn't it so cool that we go to a school where we get assignments like go to Nick's pool party? <laughs> Talk about an easy A. Totally, Amanda. Oh, and Lindsay, you look so pretty. I like your swimsuit. It's really adorable. Thank you. It's from last year. <laughs> I'm glad it still fits. All the girls here look really hot. Ain't that the truth, Ryan? Aw, you guys are so cute. <laughs> So, where's your BF, Lindsay? I... I don't know. Oh my gosh, I so left my towel inside. Come on, let's you and me go get it. If you say so. I'm so nervous. Just take deep breaths. I will be here for you the whole time. Oh my gosh, you're my new best friend, Elian. I do what I can to help. You know, I'm mostly just afraid to have to face Greg. Oh boy. I'm getting queasy. I need to sit down. Here, let's go in the kitchen. There doesn't seem to be much traffic in there. I'll see if this house holds the ingredients necessary for my famous elf soup. Okay, yeah, that's that's a great idea. I, I, I just need to eat something. Nick, there you are. Happy birthday. Masia. Yo, hey girl. Uh, is this for me? You didn't have to get me anything. I wanted to, though. All right, it's a jersey. And for my favorite player, too. How'd you know, girl? You always say how much you love basketball. Ah, uh, this is real sweet. Hey, you know what? I got you something, too. You did? Sure did, girl. It's inside. Follow me. Here, take a seat on the sofa and close your eyes. Okay, but you better not throw a pie in my face. Nah, what do I look like, a clown? Shoot, no peeking, I. Right? This is gonna be a surprise. Okay, I'm not peeking. Lindsay, get down. Wow, what's going on? Shh, I wanna see what he got her. It better not Okay, be. open your eyes. Oh my gosh, wow, they're so pretty and fresh. I love flowers. You didn't have to get me roses. But I did. You see, I think you and I would make a real nice couple. Y you do? I do. But I don't want to put pressure on you. I just want you to think about being my girl. I'm hoping at the end of the night, you'll see just how right for each other we are. So you want an answer at the end of the night? Yeah. I want to show you a good time, maybe help influence your decision. So let's get in the pool already. Um, okay. Do you have a vase for this bouquet? Maybe in the kitchen? Yeah, girl, there's a whole bunch of flower pots or something in there somewhere. <laughs> I don't really know my way around the kitchen, if you know what I'm saying. That's why my family hired a personal chef. Oh, um, well, I'll go look. I'll meet you outside. All right, girl. See you in a few minutes. Oh, no, this is not happening. I'm going to go make sure Nick realizes he made the wrong choice. Mary Jane, just leave it. It's his party, and he'll cry if he wants to. Oh. <laughs> Fine, but only because I trust your judgment. Oh, I can't believe this.
this? Say Ruff McGruff! Seen Andrew lately? I got a bone to pick with him! You know all about how that feels, don't ya? Don't know where he is, don't care. And you call yourself a teacher? More like a dud! Live it up a bit, will ya? I'm gonna fly this broom over the house. See if I can take him down from above. It's gonna be wicked! Sum's right. I don't need to be here. I'm out. Going Jeez. somewhere. You and Sami both know how to flash in and out of my life out of nowhere, huh? Why are you still here, Amon? If you're thinking about leaving, don't. You are safe here. Not so much if you go. Says who? Do you know why those teachers wanted you to record that computer? So they could use it to spy on the kids? Well, there is that. But, Sami got himself in a bit of trouble before you came here. Yeah, tell me something I don't know. It's best that you do not run off by yourself. I don't need a babysitter. Ah, but you are such an infantile. Look, you want to keep an eye on me, fine. But don't tell me where to go or what to do. It's getting annoying. I have no desire to try and control your life the way Sami does. Then what do you want from me? Is it so hard to believe that I may simply want you out of harm's way? Now, parties are a weakness of mine. Let us go do this one for kicks. What do you say? Ugh, fine. Sure. Whatever. He's my man, he's my man, he's my man, man, he's my man, man, he's my man away. Uh, he's my man away. Woo! Party! Yeah! Bring out the booze! That's what I'm talking about! God. Greg is in the living room. Should I hide? Hide? Why, of course not for my delectable elf soup. It's it's almost ready. It has all the most healthy ingredients for a woman eating for two. Why, you are just going to devour my elf soup. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be nosy, but did you just say she's eating for two? You know what? That is none of your business, Moshe. Now get out of here. Wait, I have to find a vase. Here is one. I will take care of it for you, please. I think Kirsten needs some room now, Masia. Okay, I guess Man, I'll... Masia, there you are. Why are you still in here, girl? Come on, take my hand. Let's go for a swim. I, um, okay, I, I just, I need to put on a swimsuit. Well, you can go change upstairs. You know where my room is. It's the one with the balcony. <laughs> be sure to close the curtains. <laughs> All right, I'll be right there. Oh boy, this house is big. Which one's the room with the balcony? The one right in front of you. Oh, hey, Andrew. Aren't you gonna get in the pool? I don't know. I don't like to... Well, I, I don't have a swimsuit. I'm sure Nick has extra. He does. That's why I'm up here. But I'd rather not change. Oh, come on. Let's go find one for you. Here, come here. Marcia, I really don't... Here. <sighs> Look, he had them laid out for you. I already tried them on. I'm... I'm too pale. Stop making excuses. You're not pale. I'm sure you look fine. No, you don't understand. I, I really don't want to. Why not? I bet you'd look handsome in this. You first. Okay. Hold on, let me go close the balcony door. I don't want the wind to blow the curtains out of the way. I know you're in there. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Whoa. What are you doing out here? You're not Andrew. And what does it look like I'm doing? I'm flying, you pea brain. Hey, why don't you leave Andrew alone for once? In your dreams, dimwit! Oh, there's no reason to be rude. At least I'm not a witch. Get away from her, Melissa. Or else what? Or else this! Stop the dark magic at me, are you? You'll pay for that, gooby poopy pants! Really, and how? This is how! Ah! Masia! I'll save her! Don't worry, I'm a marine biologist! Holy cow, Masia, are you alright? <coughs> I think I scraped my butt at the bottom of the pool. I'm going to kill you, Melissa! Man, girl, let me help you up. Here you go. You're all right. Oh my gosh, that scared the crap out of me. Are y'all sure she's okay? I'm okay, I'm okay. <coughs> Thanks, Ryan. Uh, did my skirt fly up when I was falling off the balcony? Only underwater. Okay, that's good, I guess. Here's a towel, Masia. I think we have some ointment or something. You know, for your butt cheek. Ugh, this is so embarrassing! Did you see that, Amanda? Yeah, I'm glad she landed in the pool. 
yeah i mean i don't like her but i'm glad she's okay oh my gosh all this drama is totally making me need to pee i'll be right back Hey, where are you going, Andrew? I'm going to go find Melissa. Okay, no, just like take it easy, okay? Masia's fine. She is? Yes, now quit hiding from everybody and just enjoy yourself. Jeez, I'm like so sick of everyone being all mad all the time. It's totally rubbing off on me. I mean, I'm a happy person. Sure, I'm bummed that Nick doesn't really like me, but you know what? I just realized that I look super cute and so I should just like totally wear the fun out of this outfit, right? You do look nice, especially with no makeup on. Okay, you don't have to point out the one thing I was hoping the dark would hide. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have gotten in the pool. Don't be obnoxious. You know you're pretty. Okay, save the compliments for your girlfriend. She feels like you don't even pay attention to her. She said that. Pretty much. Is she outside? Yeah, she's outside trying to have fun without you. I suppose I should go join her then. Uh, yeah, you should go right now. <laughs> I'm smashed. <laughs> hey, Amanda. I'm Mary Jane. Yeah, but I consider you and Amanda one person. Pa, 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 patos. There you are. I thought I lost you. I made you a margarita with the margarita machine just like I said I would. Well, isn't that servants like of you? Hey, I think there's some beer in the fridge. It's mine. Mine, I say! <laughs> He's probably the happiest drunk I've ever seen. Maybe I should get hammered with him. You get drunk. Are you not allergic to alcohol still? Nah, I'm good. I find that hard to believe considering the last time you had a drink. You mean that crappy sake I had with you back in Okinawa? That doesn't count. Where's that stupid margarita machine? How pitiful. Just take mine. Fine, give it to me. Holy moly. Andrew, who is that? Who? Oh, him? I think he's a mon from Egypt. Who? Someone a bit famous in my world, but that doesn't mean anything. He's a celebrity? No, just one of those pre-Golden Dynasty kings. Those cryptic demigod types, they're the worst. They always think they're above everyone else. Did you just say he's a king? Maybe he was once. Who knows his status now? No wonder he is so out of this world. I gotta meet him. He's not really that big of a deal. Why are you rolling your eyes? He's beautiful. Check this out. I've got this little move that works every time. Wish me luck. Good luck, I suppose. You really shouldn't fall for it. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I like totally tripped. <laughs> hey, I am so sorry. So how do you know Nick? Oh, for goodness sake, Mary Jane. Your insipidness is forgiven, human. <laughs> Thanks. So I like your muscles. What? <laughs> Kirsten, you're pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have taken her under my wing and, well, she has been working up the nerve to finally tell you this most exciting news. Greg, I meant to tell you sooner. Greg. Greg. Greg, don't just stand there. Say something. Oh, who got Kirsten pregnant? Me? Me? Who got Kirsten pregnant? I did. I did. Whoa! Yeah, wreck and roll. <laughs> What? Uh, I didn't steal the nachos. <laughs> I just borrowed them. Oh, Uncle Sam, my head exploded. Somebody call the doctor. The party's over. Get off the floor. Nick wants you to leave. Oh, I think I'm going to hurl. Uh, hey, Masia. Hey, Nick. So, what do you say? I mean, it's the end of the night, and well... I I'm, th I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> I, I guess I can wait a little bit longer. Well, actually, no, I made my decision. I decided, yes, yes, let's give it a try. Wait, so you're in? You want to be my girlfriend? Yes, I do. 
Man, that's great. Shoo, you just made me a happy man. Yo, I heard you came here with Lindsay. How's about I give you a lift home? That sounds great. Cool. So give me one sec. I'll pull up my car. Be right back. Hey, kiddo. Uh, why is it so loud in here? You came to the party. Yeah, well, I'm required to do these things. Uh, listen, I gave it some thought and, um, I know I said I didn't want you to ride on my bike, but, uh, as long as we ride during the day and stay off the major highways, I don't think your parents will hate me. My parents? They don't hate you. Just don't wear a dress again, or else the pipe's gonna burn your whole leg off. The night route isn't exactly the best two-person ride, you know what I mean? My leg never touched the pipe. Just wear jeans, okay? Oh, um... I can't go riding, though. Yeah, well, I can't take you riding tonight because it's too dark. I just said that. No, I mean not at all. Yeah, I figured your parents would say that. No, it's not my parents. I haven't even seen them tonight. You should get someone to take you home. I think you had too much to... What, what? So you're not into the Harley anymore? They don't all have pipes like that. Maybe I should get an Indian. Hey, I had a Honda back in Tokyo. Why do I feel like I'm rambling? No, I am into it. It's just that I can't really, you know, do that anymore. I have a boyfriend now. <laughs> okay. Wait. But you're serious, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Nick. Since when? Since tonight. Ugh, too many noises. Turn off the strobe light! What strobe light? You're not making any sense. I can see that you are not well, so I have taken it upon myself to get you home tonight. Am I supposed to be grateful for that? No, it is my fault this has happened. I should not have given you my drink. You and Sami are so patronizing. God, I never get a break. Uh, uh. <gasps> oh my gosh, are you okay? Oh, why can't I stay away? Hello, oh. it is me, Elian Woodland, here to help. Oh dear, please, golden one, tell me what is going on here. He fell. Kaj, are you okay? He cannot consume alcohol. It gives him some form of brain damage. I see. Well, then we must get him to the Cran Hospital. Nick can drive us. He's waiting for me outside. Which hospital did you say? The Cran Hospital. Okay, I'll go tell him. Here, Ruff, let me help you to stand. Yes, I will help you to stand as well. Ugh, I can't see. Oh my gosh, what's wrong with poor little Ruff? Oh, it seems he has been poisoned. Alcohol poisoning? Oh my gosh, that's the worst. He needs to go to the emergency room. Tell me, how much did he have? One, but even a small amount has this effect on him. This has happened in the past. Then he must be allergic to it. Yes, it appears that he is indeed very allergic to it. Kirsten, the door, if you please. Oh, of course. There we are. Oh, oh, dear. <gasps> oh my gosh, did he just pass out? He does not look good at all. Yes, this is quite concerning. I fear the time is of the essence. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me, Greg! I wanna come! <laughs> Darn it, Greg, no, you're hammered! Oh, I just blew chunks. Uh. Hey, Nick, I'm staying the night! Nick! Dang it, y'all ain't all gonna fit in my car! Here, I can help. Here, lay him down on the passenger seat. Be gentle with him, okay? Ah, you my girlfriend, so you get shotgun dibs. Man, he gonna throw up on the leather. That's not what's important right now, Nick. Girl, my car is always important. And I just had it detailed. There, he's buckled up. Kirsten, why don't you head home? I have a feeling this is going to be a long night. Fine, but I'm gonna call you guys as soon as I get home. That is fine. Pharaoh, you can sit in the back with me and Masia. <laughs> Pharaoh? Uh, wh where did the Pharaoh go? He's probably already there. He can move at light speed too, I think. Or he ran away. Andrew, you're still here. Quickly, get in the back seat with me and Masia. Why? Just do it! Yes, ma'am. To the Cran Hospital. Away we go. Hurry at once. All right, all right. I'm going, shoo. There ain't no need to get crunk. Oh, I hope he'll be okay. Step on the gas, Nick. If you say so, girl. End of episode 12!